The fact that we behave like fools doesn't mean that we are fools. Hi guys, it's Owen Kenneth, your half naked boy, and I'm back again. And it's totally midnight right now in Nigeria. Like, some people are sleeping, and I'm looking at the camera zoom lens EFX 18 to 55 millimeters. One, three, five, five, six. Yeah, I'm that crazy. Cry, cry. <laughs> Okay, so High Flares Lounge paid me 150,000. It's up to you to believe if that's is true or that's just me hiding something. Anyway, so today I want to talk about like courage because I went out for the High Flares um, High Flares Lounge event which I am totally full for because I went out again with my camera and I this time around I forgot my SD card can you imagine <laughs> after spending money to buy it you can I can but the oh god last time was my battery I forgot my battery but my SD card was inside oh my god <laughs> if I were a photographer I would just like drop the camera and tell god my ministry is over <laughs> no more photography but anyway i'm a blogger and i double into photography yeah sometimes photography pays well like if you do it well <laughs> anyway the event was very beautiful um it took place at dimples lounge i don't know if you've ever been to plateau state to try and visit dimples yeah dimples anyway um they had two people come and um, share their life stories. Basically, um, they had Ngo. Ngo is Miss Juku, yes. Miss Juku, she's kind of like a famous politician or legend. I just want to say a famous, I don't want to say famous, I want to say powerful woman in Plaza State. Yes, that's the right word to describe her. Then they also had Osama. Osama is a very popular comedian. <laughs> and he's almost getting international just give him some years and you'll start hearing him the likes of kelvin hats and go so the event um i'm totally going to do the outfit of the day of the outfit i wore to the event because i was trying to get somebody to do that for me and it didn't happen anyway yeah long story short you know i forgot my camera so when I got to the event at Rayfield, that's at Dimples Lounge, I did like an interview and blah 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 and such and I opened the door to enter inside the venue and guess who I saw? So baby. But I would <laughs> Just know that girl is great, that's all. So the event started off with not a good start like i'm kind of somebody that likes live performance and not people mimicking against like lip singing yeah that's the word lip singing their own songs like it's just so and the fact that when you're singing or you're lip singing and you're now voicing out some parts and some parts you're not voicing then when i get the chance to hear your real voice it sounds yeah so Somebody did a lip sync of game music. Yeah, obviously. I just explained that to you. So the event got into a proper start. Anyway, before I explain that, I want to explain um, the transport, my transportation journey to the event. While I was like um, going to the event, I boarded a Kikina Pep. Yeah, Kikina Pep is like a tricycle and it gets popular in India. <laughs> yes. So, um, I entered with my camera totally doing guy like holding my camera like if I was female it was, I was holding like a handbag yeah like a fashion statement anyway so I got into <laughs> yeah that's why I was obviously forgot my SD card so I got into the kicking up and this drunk guy was inside and he was trying thank god a lady was there to separate sitting between us he was trying to touch that didn't go so well because he mistakenly touched the lady and the lady got she was run for her life in the center of that kicking up that. Anyway, long story short, I got to the venue first. Um, I got late. Yes, I was not planning to go early. 
I don't know, I just have this feeling that all Nigerian events start late. But surprisingly, this one started early and I came late. So, after the lip syncing performance, the event started with Ungo. Ungo um, gave her background how okay, she said she was from a rich family and had to do some things to support her husband and she was privileged to become the first female national um, bureau woman leader and first female special advisor to the governor at that time of Plata State that was Governor Derry and she made some milestones back in that time in a prime time yes she made some serious milestones so she was then giving us um high experiences and sharing us how to behave how to um attain success in life so but one key factor i noticed from what she said or what i picked up from what she said was apart from determination apart from um, knowing yourself, loving yourself, not trying to, um, not trying to belittle yourself, or not trying to forcefully fight for something that is not coming to you, just be certain weight, and it's definitely come to you. What I really got was the courage, because it took courage to step out and tell her husband that she wanted to walk. So that was like the main thing, because if you don't have courage. Oh boy. Excuse me. You ain't going nowhere. And did I mention this is midnight? Yeah, I'm doing this then midnight. Okay. And I think I have insomnia because I don't sleep again like me and my junior brother. Our last um, the last one. Yes, right now I'm watching this. Can you imagine? And I'm here. Okay? So Osama Osama Zen was more funny. Obviously he's a comedian. Like, I really get comedians now. Comedians are kind of like the saddest people in a way. It's just like Adele and her music. It's always sad, like she goes into a sad place to bring the music for. I'm just thinking, because some of his experiences he gave us was like um, deprived, poverty, uneducated background, struggling, um, hungry, almost on the blink of starvation. He was like giving us experiences like things they do. Um, for example, he said when when he was in UJ, he didn't even pay for accommodation. He was struggling from places to places, squatting to leave at the time. It was really difficult. Like hearing his struggles was really difficult and to see where he is right now is a total 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 it's a total progress yes a success because when he first started like when i was talking about what i learned from Ungo and what i and what i later learned from osama was that it was both courage because it was courage that took or that made Osama to leave his state to come to Plata State to further um, his um, life basically. I can just say education because it, 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 what he did in just superseded education. So it was that courage that took him, that made him to take the money and embark on the journey totally, totally different. Like his journey was, was something, yeah. I think it was really touching and the event was I think the highlight of the event were the interviews that the interviews of Ungo and and Osama and the recharge card dashing that was the credit uh, the stuff where they were dashing free recharge cards but I didn't win yeah so yes that's all for now and hopefully i will be releasing the outfit of the day photo so peace out stay tuned always remember to follow us on twitter instagram and facebook and also visit our site
with the same name Awam Kenneth, A-W-O-M Kenneth.com. Thank you guys. Peace out.